Today I'm riding out of the Oasis Ranger Station, which is about 60 miles west of Miami on US Highway 41. I'm going to be riding a connecting trail, the Oasis North and the Raccoon Point Trail. The portion of the uh, Oasis Trail that I'm riding today connects the two loops that I've highlighted in green. I have plenty of video uh, on the trails that are on the loops highlighted in green, so you can check my channel if you're interested. He is foggy out. We're leaving out of Oasis Ranger Station. It's about 6.30 in the morning on Saturday, 25th. seems really low. Holy smokes. This is the beginning of the Oasis Trail. I've done a video on this before. We're on our way out. A minute later, we're still on the Oasis Trail headed out, uh, just uh, shaking up the beer in the cooler. This is the portion of the trail highlighted in light yellow. We're passing the fork in the road at the southern tip of the area shaded in green. You can go to the right, right here, and you'll be on the loop to go around the area shaded in green. It's still the Oasis Trail that's highlighted in light yellow. About a mile and a half up the trail, there's another fork in the road, and we'll be going to the left on the connecting trail. this was a fire or a control burn. They do control burn out here. Okay, here we are. We're at the um, fork in the road for the Rock Road Trail straight ahead and the Oasis Trail to the left. I'm going on the Oasis Trail to the left. Now I've been on the Rock Road Trail which is straight ahead.
We just transitioned to the portion of the Oasis Trail that connects the two areas shaded in green. This is the portion of the Oasis Trail that I've highlighted in light orange. This Oasis Trail is turning out to be a little more challenging than it originally would lead you to believe, or initially I should say. So a lot of these mud holes, like you see in front of us, I'm still in two-wheel drive. It seems to be dry enough to traverse them, but in um, the wet season, you definitely want to be in four-wheel drive. This looks tough, man. This looks like a challenge. I can winch out if I don't make it. Two-wheel drive, too. I probably get stuck in the wet season in, in two-wheel drive. But no, they don't. Uh, they don't maintain this. Interestingly enough, the 50-inch uh, width seems to give you some options that you wouldn't get on a big swamp buggy. It's the big buggies that are making these, these big holes. And they have a uh, much wider um, footprint, I'm going to say. I don't know what you'd call the, the width, much wider width. So you don't you don't have as many options. Usually you just got to go go straight through it. You can't go around it. Whereas I can uh, select the better side if there is one. Okay, we got some deer tracks here, and I've arrived at the fork in the road. You 
should be able to see these tracks. They look actually pretty fresh. We've arrived at the portion of the Oasis Trail that is at the northern end of the area shaded in green on the left. So we've connected from one shaded area to the other. I'm going to take a right and it will still be the Oasis Trail, but it'll start to head north and this will link up with the Raccoon Point Trail. All right, fork in the road. To the left, we stay on Oasis. Straight ahead, we go to Lost Dog. I think I'm going to go to Lost Dog. It's about a three-mile trail, and I'm going to come back and call it a day. It's going to be a tough, a tough ride back. I think I'm already at about 40 miles too. So anyway, and then um, I'll do a deeper plunge from a different trail out of Monroe because it's a better quality trail. It's going to be a hard ride back. Long, hard ride back. So Lost Dog Trail, here we come. Which is actually sticking to the plan. You can see there's a trail colored gold. That's the Florida Trail. You have to walk that on foot. It bisects my orange highlighted trail. At that point, that's where the fork in the road was that I take to the Lost Dog Trail. So we're no longer on Oasis. So you can see Lost Dog is in the Pinelands, but you can also see that it's getting narrow and less defined. It will continue to deteriorate from here. I actually didn't make it to the end. I probably went about halfway and turned around because it just got too narrow and I wasn't enjoying it. I just, I just, this is just a minute later, man. I ran into this. This thing looks like a mess. I mean, this looks like it's going to be a rough ride. I could probably, because it's so dry, get through this in two wheel. Man, I don't know. This is this is rough. Rocks. 
sticking up. So if you plunk, if you plunk down on one of them, you can take something out. What's cool about this uh, 50 inch ride one wheel's got a nice uh, high platform out of the mud. Well, it's all mud. And then the other side is down in the rut. But anyway, hey, we got through it. Looks like even in the dry season that this is going to be some four-wheeling here. So that's pretty much Lost Dog Trail. I hit a spot 
where it just got too nasty and I was tired of it by then. So uh, I turned around and right now I'm headed back in. So the rest of this is just going to be backtracking on what we've already seen. So uh, it's probably too late for brevity, but um, I think this is where we wrap it up. So you've now seen the connecting trail, uh, the connecting Oasis Trail, and you've seen the um, Lost Dog Trail because your dog wasn't lost until he went out on this trail and ain't nobody coming in here to get him. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. That's a small bug.